state of Indiana. And there is a pastor that came to his church and said, I'm so gracious to be in service. I'm happy to be in service. So he goes in his church and there is 400 people there in service. Put your hands together again. But I want you to know that his capacity is 4,000. Another pastor uh, went in to his church and had a guest speaker coming in and they were looking to have a wonderful service and to feel the anointing and the presence of the eternal God and coming to a place of thanking him for what he has done and what he is going to do in certainly the spirit of anticipation. And there was 250 folks in service but I want you to understand that his capacity was 3,700. The enemy is taking a toll. It is a time of depression, anxiety, trepidation, stress, being overwhelmed. But God will always have a ram in the bush. He will always have a church. He will always have a church out of a church. He's going to have somebody that's going to stand up and praise and magnify his gracious name. Tonight, I wish this church was full to the capacity because I believe that God has done something specifically for all of us. I'm, 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 I'm. I'm tired of hearing of uh, tragic stories folks and friends and loved ones. And I know that all of you know somebody that has succumbed over these two and a half, almost three years that has died, a loved one. And many times you hear folks, they're gone. You talk with them a few weeks ago, a month ago, they're gone. I just heard the other day of a good friend of mine, they have lost their son. We're praying for them. But because God has given us breath, and the blood is yet running warm in our veins. All of us, regardless to what storm you're going through, what you're facing, all of us, all of us, ought to put our hands up and say, Lord, I thank you for just one more day. One more day. Could have been gone. grateful that he did not allow my bed to become my grave. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Still have a mind for sanctuary worship. Still have a mind to get down on my knees and cry out to the Lord. And those crocodile tears run down your eyes and say, God, I need your help. Hallelujah. I need a word from the Lord. Yes. This is why we're here tonight. We've called it a blast from the past. <laughs> a time that we can reflect upon that historical praise that we know that no one has brought us out but God himself. Not always, not always in numbers. The Bible speaks of a wonderful, colorful character by the name of Gideon. He was going to battle. God said, I'm going to use you. And Gideon was excited because he had 32,000 that was backing him up. <laughs> it's always easy to shout when you got somebody to back you up. And praise God. And God said, that's too many. God always has a number. Out of 32,000, God said, Gideon, I'm going to give you 300. <laughs> now, you know he had to depend on God then. Hmm? He said, you got too many. And sometimes we're looking to fill the church up. God knows I want that. <laughs> But sometimes you need real people. Hush, Pastor Fraser. No, not yet. <laughs> You're out tonight because you could have been somewhere else. But God has his 
number. Mm -hmm. And since I'm here tonight, I'm going to give him some prime time. Hmm? Since I'm in church tonight, I'm going to have some church. I may cut my step. I'm just remembering, when I say a blast from the past, I'm remembering where God, you brought me from. Sister Frazier, stand up. Not through, yes. This is my wife this year, be 54 years. Stand up. All of us, all of us, regardless as to who we are, all of us, we've got a testimony. We've got a reason to praise and magnify God. Hmm? Your story may not be like mine, but your story is important. Hmm? My God, my God. When you weather the storm, when you come through difficulties, you got a reason to throw your hands up. You got a reason to say hallelujah. You got a reason to say thank you, Jesus. And nobody can tell your story like you can tell your story. Look across the aisle and tell somebody, I'm in the number. I'm in the number. One more time. Now put those hands together and give God some praise. This time tonight, we're going to call upon Dr. Morgan, and she's going to lead us all tonight in our service. So it's just a different kind of service tonight. And so it may not be what you're looking for, but it's a different kind of service. Can you hear me? It, 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 can I say this to you? Let's just be real. I ain't got nothing up my sleeve. But this old 70 plus arm. <laughs> and just love the Lord. Come on, put those hands together. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. You know that Jesus is the God we serve. All right. Jesus is the God. We serve. Angels bow before him. Heavens and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, tell him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth, they adore him. What a mighty God we serve. You got it, come on. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heavens and earth, they adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty 
mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty in battle. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to get warmed up here tonight. What a mighty God. Mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. We're celebrating 50 years. Uh, my, my, Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. At this Hallelujah. time, Hallelujah. we're going to call on our first lady, Elizabeth Frazier, to come and render us some songs from our hymnal book. You have a copy, so I would like for you to go ahead and support and get behind her tonight. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We got a reason to celebrate tonight. So we got a reason to sing the song. We got a reason to sh uh, shout for joy. Our first song, if you have the, have the paper, is going to be is nothing but the blood. We know it was the blood, but it was nothing but the blood. What? Can wash away my sin. Oh, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can make me whole again? Oh, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm singing, oh.
power, power wondrous working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Thank God there's power, 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 power wondrous working power in the blood. for you, Lord God. We just want to thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy, Lord God. We just thank you, for Father God, how you watched over us down through the years. Down through the years, Lord. Down through the years. Lord, we just thank you for this 50th anniversary. Lord God, we just thank you for everyone who gathered here today, Lord God, under the unity and fellowship and in love. Father God, we just we just call on you to just saturate us with your presence tonight. Lord, touch each and every one of us in a special way, Lord God, as we call to remembrance the former days and when we were first enlightened. Lord God, God, illuminate and we endure such a great fight of affliction. Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God. We welcome you in our presence, oh Lord God. We welcome you in our midst, oh Lord God. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here. Thank you, Lord God, for meeting us here. Thank you, Lord God, for leading us here. Thank you, Lord God, for just being in our midst, oh Lord. We just thank you, Lord God, for your presence. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for your peace. Down through the years, Lord God, down through the years. We say, come into our midst, O oh Lord. Come into our midst, O oh Lord. Come into our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Touch us, O God, tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. Have the victory. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I feel something in this place. Hallelujah. I feel something. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I feel something tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Something about prayer. See, you call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. Something about that name. Oh, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. glory. Uh, my, my, At this my, time, my. we're going to call on our own evangelist, Arnett, who will come and render us a scripture. Let us receive it with a hearty amen. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus. See, Jesus ain't going to take me out. <laughs> he ain't going to take me out. Y'all don't know. <laughs> you don't, I'm sorry. That's not what I'm here to do. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm going to run. Somebody better stop me. Woo. Philippians 1 and 6. Mm. And I am certain that God, yes. who began the good work yes. within yes. you, yes. will continue yes. his work until it is finally finished nah, nah, nah. on the day when Christ returns. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say Jesus? Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Nah, nah, nah. Evangelist Arnett said, can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Can you say hallelujah? Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise that you can give God. Hallelujah. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 You don't know like I know. You can't tell it like I can tell it. Oh, no. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have our own um, Elder Arnett. At this time, come and render us a welcome, a Christian love welcome. Can we receive him with a hearty amen? All right, Elder. Everybody say, praise the Lord. 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 I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. On behalf of Bethany Apostolic Church, we welcome you to our 50th uh, anniversary. As you just come and just feel free to praise the Lord, clap your hands, stomp your feet, run the aisles, hallelujah, just yes, shout and give God a praise yes. for it's been 50 years, hallelujah, yes. and we're still here, hallelujah. hallelujah. A lot of places are shut down, but we're still here, hallelujah. And I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. Hallelujah. Look at right. 50 years. Hallelujah. 50 years. All when right. I think about the goodness, yeah. well, I can look back how he brought me through my test trials and tribulations. How he took me through my sicknesses and pains. Hallelujah. When I could have been dead in my grave. Hallelujah. I'm still here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bethany, after 50 years, after 50 years, and man, I seem like a long time, but after 50 years, hallelujah, we're still yet her praising the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Bethany Apostolic Church hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah. Open your mouth and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You ought to feel be a, start feeling good about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 50 years. 50 years. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would you be? Oh, hallelujah. You got a right to praise him. You got a right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to have our pastor come at this time and render this portion of the service. Can we say amen? amen? Can we say amen? amen. Uh, Y'all pardon me. I'm going to dance in advance. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows where God has brought you from, you got a reason. You got a reason. You know that song that you were singing in the shower? <laughs> and you know when you are faced opposition and trouble and you're in your house and nobody's there and what God does, he drops a song in your heart and, 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 and you, you don't even know it. You just start humming it. Hmm? It, hadn't, it hadn't even come out yet. You just start humming that song. Hmm? My God, my God, my God. You, you're walking around the house and you're just humming that song down in your heart. But what you really don't know is that God is talking to you. Can we say hallelujah? Then, then all of a sudden, you burst out in that song. Hmm? My God, my God. Has that ever happened to you? 
you're riding down the street in your automobile, and that's all you're doing, just beginning to hum a song. Hmm? And you're not even aware of it. Then all of a sudden, you break out in those words. Hallelujah. 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 At the workplace. Not in church, but the workplace. Hmm? And all of a sudden, you, you begin to hum that song. You know, years ago, I worked at a place in Terre Haute, and I worked in this machine. And what happened, I thought the machine was accompanying me. I thought the sink, machine was saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And me and that machine had a time. Anywhere in any circumstance that you find yourself that God wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you any kind of way. Hmm? Can we say hallelujah? hallelujah? And I'm sure tonight that all of us in our times of test and trial, we need a comforting word from the spirit of the Lord. My God, my God, my God. Mm -hmm. I was praying was praying and in a moment he's praying that thing came to me again never known God to fail never known God to fail and that's always it I wasn't saying it it's just in my head and never known God to fail then I start saying it out loud and you know what you start feeling something and you know what sometimes even tears run down your eyes not because not because you are sad about anything, but you're just grateful for what God has done and what God is going to do. This is what it means to blast from the past. It gives me opportunity to turn and say, God, I know through all of those years, through the joy, through the tears, through the pain, through the sorrow, put the seatbelt on, put the seatbelt on. Through children, oh, yes. Yes, hmm? Yes. Hmm? am I talking loud enough? Yes. Hmm? Through loved ones, yes. through friends, yes. through ups and downs, yes. toward having some money in your pocket and not. I said tonight we're going to get real. Hmm? Sometimes feeling alone. Hmm? You ever cried at night and say, God, make a way? Hmm? When you're doing all that you know how to do to keep on walking holy before the Lord. And it seems like, seem like some folks that don't. All the blessings and this and the other, it's like your blessings go over your head. But you still love the Lord. You still say, God, you can still depend on me. Hmm? And sometimes people ask you how you feel, and they're oh, oh, I'm okay. And you really know that you're not okay. Hmm? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. But sometimes there's a there's a tsunami that's going on in the inside. Hmm? But your mind goes back to that scripture. Yeah. Weeping may endure for a night, but somehow or another, God said that joy is going to come in the morning. One thing that we have understood about this magnanimous God that this God will never lie. Oh, hallelujah. 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 May not see our breakthrough right now. But we must understand cognitively God is ahead of us and he's already making the way before I get there. And we must become to the place to be mature enough in him to understand that he is able to manage the affairs of our lives better 
than we. Come on, put your hands together. Tonight, we just take the time to say thank you, Lord. And there's times that we come before this omnipotent God, omnibenevolent, and sometimes not to come just asking him for something, but just say, God, I thank you for for keeping me together. I thank you, God, for keeping my sanity. When I could have come apart at the scene, but God, you kept me, kept my mind. You know how we're going to get out. How can we? How can we stand silent? The Lord said if they do, he says, the rocks. I, I don't know how he's going to do it, but he said, the rocks will cry out. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of us, all of us, regardless as to where we are in this Thing that's called life. All of us have been through something and must become conscious enough to understand that it's God that has brought us through. I can't tell your story like you can, but I know you got one. God has kept you alive for a purpose. To many of us, to many of us, we are meandering through life and squandering time that we can never recapture again. But that place where the eternal God summons us, calls us, and we become cognizant enough that it's the summoning of the king, that's when our lives begin to radically transform. I made the statement, I'm going to stop in a moment. I made a statement, and I, I don't know if our parishioners or those on our media grasp what I was saying. As a youngster, I would look on this old tree, and the old tree would have cocoons, you know those cocoons? And there was a season for that cocoon to break through and come out and meet its destiny, whether it moth or butterfly, and to soar. But I'd always see some cocoons that still was left on the tree beyond their season. And I say, Lord, don't leave me where you found me. We must progressively go forward. And yet, not at, yet at the same time, we must understand how far God has brought us. My God, my God. And we take time to look back over our historical background and understand it was God had to make us, guide us, strengthen us to come where we are. Come on, put those hands together again. We're not, we're not through yet. And sometimes it seems like when you plan things, Sometimes things shift. Hmm? And sometimes shifts is good. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise and we're going to ask that uh, Dr. Martin, you come back again, and Sister Floyd and Sister Frazier, come and give us one of those, one of those songs. Uh, I'm going to call uh, Brother Clark, too, later on, since we're talking about the blast in the past. Brother Clark, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm going to say it loud. Old school. <laughs> let, let it, let it, let, we're going to call you just a moment, just a moment. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. I thought I saw, I thought I saw, what's your name coming in?
Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Don't get quiet now. Don't get quiet. All right, all right, all right, all right. Amen. Woo, glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise him, praise him. Yes. Love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you cared for me. In such a special way. And that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your, your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Oh, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I love you, Lord. Because you care for me in such a spare and so way, and that's why I praise you and I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why. On Calvary, and that's why I praise you, and I lift you up, and I magnify your name. Oh, that's why, that's why my heart is filled with praise. I'm going to sing that tonight. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There is none 
like you. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Lord, no one else, else can touch my heart hearts like, like you, you do. do. Oh, we can search, yeah, yes. I, I can search for eternity, Lord. And find. And not, not. There is none like you. you. If you believe it, go ahead and sing it. There is none. Oh, there is none. There is yes. none. There is none like you. you. Hearts like, like you, you do. do. I can search you, yeah, yes. And I, I can search throughout eternity, Lord. And find there is none. There is none. Oh, there is none. There Let the church say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, Let, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Let the church say hallelujah. 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 Let's give him a praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do better than that. Give oh, him yeah, a praise. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. He will fix it at the world. At the world. Trouble in my way. 
Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. After a while, trouble in our way. It'll make you cry sometime. It'll make you cry sometime. But oh, I know that Jesus will fix it. Jesus will fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, Jesus. He's a fixer. Hallelujah. A mind regulator. He's a heart fixer. Hallelujah. He'll fix it for you. Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. Jesus, he will fix it. Come on. Jesus, he will fix it. Do you believe it? Jesus, he will fix it. 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 I said, Jesus. Jesus, he will fix it. I know, Jesus. He will fix it. I know, Jesus. He will fix it. He fix it for me. Jesus, he will fix it. He'll fix it for you. Jesus, he will fix it. After a while. After a while. So say yeah. Oh yeah. So say yeah. Oh yeah. So say yeah. Oh yeah. So say yeah.
Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. All right. My, 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 my. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glory. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. So say, yeah. 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 So say, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you, but Go I feel good him. down in my Go ahead and praise him. Him. I come to praise Go him. Go ahead and praise him. I come to praise him. Praise him. Oh, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Something about the Holy Ghost. I, I can't explain, but I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. Just like the Bible. Just like the Bible said. Hallelujah. That Holy Ghost power. That Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's your moment. It's your moment. You can praise him. Go ahead. I'll give you five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Praise him. 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 All right, Brother Maurice. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Some of y'all need to be joining Brother Maurice. He got to praise and he's got to get it out. Go ahead. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Well, yeah, you don't know what they've been through. You don't know. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't know what they've been through. Yeah. Glory. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise him. Praise him. Don't just look at him. You got to praise him for yourself. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Oh, Lord. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Yeah. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God be God, Bishop. Let God be God. Glory. Hallelujah. Let God be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God be God. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless your name. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. God is already here. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yeah, he's already here. God is already here. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. We honor you tonight, God. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Praise him. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I come to praise him. I come to magnify him. I come to lift him up. I come to give him glory. I come to give him glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Hey, 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 God. Glory. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. Have your way, God. 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 Have your way,
your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. We praise God tonight. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stop your praise, but we're going to move on. You can go ahead and keep praising him, but we're going to move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let God be God. Hallelujah. He's in the building. He's in the building. He's in the building. Hallelujah at this time. All right, y'all sound like y'all ready. Now y'all sound like you're warmed up tonight. Now you sound like you're ready to praise the God of our salvation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. We're going to move on. We're going to move on to another, to another part of our service. Some of y'all don't want to let this thing go. We're going to move on to another part of our service, which is seed time. At this time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have Elder Floyd come and render our offering for tonight. Let us receive Elder Floyd as he come with a hearty amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can still praise him. You can still praise him. You can still praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen. Now, we still can praise him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So often when offering time comes around, we tend to sit on our praise. But during offering time tonight, we're going to do something different. I believe tonight that somebody's going to be blessed during offering time. We all have heard of the songs of degree. Tonight, we're going to do offering of degree. They did songs of degree when they went up to Jerusalem. They would sing the song at a low pace. And then as they approached Jerusalem, and as they got closer to Jerusalem, they began to elevate the voice, and they began to sing louder. And when they got into the house of God in Jerusalem, they began to shout and praise God in a high, high voice. We're going to do that tonight. We're going to start off slow, and then we're going to start off medium. And then we're going to, after the offering has been taken, we're going to shout the same way they did in Jerusalem. But before we do that, I have several questions I have to ask you. How many of you, this is old school tonight, and we're going back some 50 years. How many of you have been saved for one year? Would you please stand? More than one year. Just please stand. How many, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about 40, 50. I'm talking about one year. Those of you who have been saved more than one year, just please stand. Those of you who have been saved more than three years, would you please stand? Those of you who have been saved more than five years, would you please stand? Seven years, would you please stand? Ten years. Would you please stand? 15 years, would you please stand? I'm talking about being in the church. 20 years, would you please stand? All right. We're talking about the offering of degree. We're going to say hallelujah. We're going to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 20 years. Hallelujah. 25 years. Hallelujah. Let's shout with a loud voice. Songs of degree. Offering of degree. 30 years. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. 30 years. 35 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 40 years. Hallelujah. How many have been over 40 years? 45 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. 
50 years. Would you please stand? Now, I haven't forgotten anyone. Let's look at the visitors. If you have been a visitor here at Bethany for the first time, would you please stand? Everybody, everybody just remain standing. Those of you been standing, just remain standing. Second time visitor. Third time visitor. Fifth time visitor. Okay, songs of degree. Hallelujah. This is our offering of degree. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As they got closer to Jerusalem, they begin to praise God. Ushers, just pass the offering trays around, will you please? At the same time, we're going to be saying hallelujah during this offering. Hallelujah. Come on, saints, help me out tonight. We're going back to old school. Hallelujah. 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 You all remember Evangelist Pierce, don't you? She was standing here taking up offering. And you know what she was saying? It's offering time. She was shouting into Mike, waved her handkerchief, and said, it's offering time. What time is it, saints? You didn't hear me. What time is it, saints? You still didn't hear me. What time is it, saints? Offering time here at Bethany. Let's give God a big, big hand praise. Let's give him a hand praise like we really, really mean it. It's offering time. Here at Bethany Apostolic Church. Are you glad tonight? Are you glad it's offering? 50 years. 50 years. That's a long, long time, is it not? Sure it is. Let's give God another hand praise. Am I... Can we say amen once again? I realize tonight that the offering that we have just taken up, that is for the in-house, in-house offering. Now, on the Internet, if you want to give on the Internet, those that may be watching us on the Internet, if you want to give, you can be a part of this service also. You can give through our website at Bethany Apostolic 212.org. I'm sorry, Bethany Apostolic Evansville, am I correct? Dot org. Amen. You can give through that website, Bethany Apostolic Evansville dot org. And uh, whatever you can do, if you do not belong to a church and you want to bless this ministry, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do so through that uh, website, Bethany Apostolic Evansville dot org. You, you can bless this ministry. Really, really good through that website. And whatever you decide to give, it would be highly, highly appreciated. Amen. So let us all stand once again as we go into prayer. We're going to pray for this offering. Once again, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, once again for this offering. We thank you, Lord God, just for being a blessing to each and every one of us. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done for us. It was you, Lord God, that have given us the jobs. You, Lord God, because of our prosperity, we can say thank you. We thank you for the portion that you have blessed us with where we are able to give tonight. We realize if it had not been for you, we would not be able to participate in this part of the service. So we just want to lift our hands and lift our voices and say, Lord God, we, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for the portion that you have given us so that we can give back to you. Those that did not have to give, bless, Lord God, where they be able to give next time. Continue to bless the offering, Lord God, 
as we take it up here at Bethany Apostolic Church. And we will give you the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Can we say hallelujah? It's so good to see Pastor Cook out there, Bishop Cook. It's good to see you out here. It's good to see you tonight. If you want to make your way to the pulpit, please. Amen. 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 At this, I think I'm losing my voice. At this time, we're going to go call on our clergy one, one by one to kind of declare what they remember. Amen. What you can reflect on. At this time, I'm going to call Elder Arnett up first. Can we receive Elder Arnett with a hearty amen? Amen. amen. Three minutes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So first got here, like, I think it was 2017. And me and my wife, we drove her through an ice storm all the way from Oklahoma. You know, anything could happen. Well, there was a little bitty accident that did happen, but no lives were lost. You know, but looking back at all the things that we had, that we had went through to get here, but my wife, she had a job that she had to be at at a certain time. So we're pressing, you know, to get her on time so she can sign it to her job, to sign to her job on time. But just thinking of all the accidents that we've seen that we could have been in, God yet preserved us to drive all the way from Oklahoma to Evansville, Indiana, with no hurt, harm, or danger come upon us because anything could have happened to us driving over the highway. We could have fell over in a ditch, could have ran off the road, and nobody would have known anything about us. And didn't, know, didn't, didn't nobody know where it's coming I didn't let my mom know until the last minute. I called and let her know that we was here. But when I look back, the all that God has brought us through, all the trials that we've been through, all the snares we could have been caught up in, anything that could have happened could have happened, but God was yet good. God kept, yet kept his hand of protection up on us. And I just thank God. Because I've been knowing Bishop Frazier for years. And when I found out that we was coming here, I made it a point to come and fellowship here. Because he, he has a good reputation behind him, hallelujah. And I just thank God, hallelujah, for blessing us to be here at Bethany Apostolic Church going over five years. Hallelujah. Continue to pray for us. All right. Can we say amen? Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Can you say hallelujah? At this time, we're going to call on Evangelist Arnett. Let us receive it with a hearty amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I remember five years ago, as a young lady, <laughs> I walked through those doors, and Sister Jackson was the first one who gave me a hug in the hallway. And I love that woman to this day. I remember sitting in that one, two, third pew right there, and past the, the praise team was up here singing. And my beautiful sister right there was up here with the praise team. And I was dancing in the pew. Worshiping my God. And they said, you're a praiser. And I said, what gave you the first clue? <laughs> See, when you dance for God, ain't nobody going to stop you. And then when pastor found out that we were already ordained, he said, oh, no, 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 no. You come right up here. I was like, are you sure? He said, come on. Well, you know, you can't say no to pastor. You can't say no to God, right? 
I'm going to tell you, ever since five years ago, when I walked in this door, God has done nothing but bless us and bless us and bless us and bless us and bless us. And I can keep saying he blesses us and blesses us and blesses us. We just celebrated 15 years of being married, y'all. 15 years. And that ain't nothing but God. See? Look, I know I only got three minutes, but I got to tell you all this. Some of you don't know me. I'm a little bitty Oklahoma girl. Born, well, I wasn't born in Oklahoma. I was born in Kansas, but I was raised in Oklahoma the rest of my life. See, God brought me through all these trials. Y'all don't know. I've been talked about. I've been bruised. I've been beaten. And when I went into the church, God turned me around. I just said, God, uh uh-uh, not me. No. My heart was hardened. He said, I'm going to fix that. He took my heart like an M&M and he crumbled it. And he let me love again. So some of you who are single out there, you need to hear this. He softened my heart back up. See, what y'all don't know, he was, he was stationed in Iraq. And we met in the church. They don't think I was out here clubbing because this girl don't do that. I met this man in the church. I said, God, if you want me to be in a relationship, I don't care if he's purple, black, yellow, white, whatever color he is. He has to have a heart for God first. Then me. Because if he don't have you first... He ain't going to respect me. Okay? See, God talked to him in Iraq, and he said, you're going to marry her. He didn't tell me that. He called me up, and he said, woman, would you be my queen for life? (laughs) I told him to shut up. (laughs) I said, I take it serious. Now, back then, I had dial-up. Y'all don't know. Some of y'all don't know what dial-up is, but some of y'all do. He said, get off the phone. I'm going to call you. So he called me. He said, would you be my queen for life? Will you marry me? I was quiet. God whispered in my ear, and he said, say yes, and you'll be blessed the rest of your life. See, what y'all don't know is 15 years later, we don't argue, we don't fight. This is my Boaz. Okay? And I wouldn't trade him for a million bucks. But God. Amen? Five years later, we're still here. We're still together in an Elizabeth God. Amen? Can we say hallelujah? I like that evangelist, Arnett. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God told him. At this time, we're going to have our own Elder Floyd come and give us his I Remember When. I I went to a meeting one night, and my heart wasn't right. But that night, Something got a hold of me. Back in 1981, a house on a hill in Corridon, Kentucky. They had a prayer meeting that night. And they asked me to step up and say, Earl of Lord, Earl of Lord, would you want God, you want us to pray for you? And I said, no, no. I just had several beers and I just wanted to get out of there. And the only reason I was there, I took the wife down there to the prayer meeting. But somehow I got mixed up in that myself. (laughs) They said, Earl, do you want us to pray for you? I said, no. They said, come on, let us pray for you. I stood up. They gathered around me. They laid hands on me. And something on the inside was about ready to make a change on the outside. I felt something moving. Deep down and way down inside of me. I try to hold a flood of tears back, but they begin to flow. It was the Holy Ghost. 
I didn't know what it was then, but it was the Holy Ghost. We left that meeting that night. I couldn't wait to get back to share it with one of my coworkers. And that coworker of mine at the time was Bishop Frazier. <laughs> I called him Gary. I said, Gary, 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 I got the Holy Ghost. And he said, uh, Brother Earl, he said, that's not all. <laughs> he said, you need something else. He said, you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus. I said, is that all I have to do? <laughs> no stroke. We came to church, the old church. Most of you don't remember that old church. It's the old church where the water was cold. <laughs> it chilled my body, <laughs> but it healed my soul. Some of you know what I'm talking about. My wife, me, and my sister-in-law, we went down in the mighty name of Jesus back in 1981. I can say only one thing about that experience that day, and I believe in it to now. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. That thing that they call the Holy Ghost, it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real all the way down in my soul. God bless you. It's real, 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 real. <laughs> Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to call on Bishop Cook to elaborate on what he remembers. First, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. And of course, Bishop Frazier and Pastor Floyd and Evangelist and Elder. I just, uh, I'm trying to, wait, 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 I got these lights on. Who was that young brother back there that was shouting? All right. I looked at him, I said, that used to be me. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I tried it for a little bit. I, can, I can't dance, 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 dance all night no more. I can do it for 10 minutes, Bishop. But I thank God when I look back on my life and how I got here. I actually uh, received the Holy Ghost and got saved, got baptized in Jesus' name in Indianapolis, Indiana under Bishop Benjamin Moore. Amen. You know, and, and you talk about old school. You know, you couldn't, you know, your sleeves had to be down below your elbow. You didn't cut your hair. You didn't do, I was like, wow, when I first got there. But I think it was like a few months after I was there, I had my hands up in a service. And I was just praising God. I had my eyes closed. And all of a sudden, I felt the Holy Ghost. I felt it. And it went through my hands, and it shook me like a rag doll. That's been 37 years ago. It shook me like a rag doll, Sister Dottie. It just shook me. And, and next thing I know, I was jumping around. I, I, I said, oh, you know, I, see, I used to thank church folks because actually I would visit over on Cherry Street every now and then. I remember the Rogers girls when they was little, but I, I, I didn't stay long. I just, yeah, and get out real quick because you, you're scared. You get to church and you're doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? But once I got that Holy Ghost, hallelujah, you talking to a drug addict? You, do you hear what I'm saying? An alcoholic? But once I got that Holy Ghost, I mean really got the Holy Ghost. That tongue talking, foot stomping, Pentecostal, apostolic, hallelujah. 
Once I got that, ooh, I feel it now, Lord Jesus. I feel it now. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. 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 You don't know what I'm talking about, see? See, this, this thing will stir you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This thing will make you happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, it'll give you joy. Hallelujah. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. I was, I was hoping Sister Frazier would have went on here and started singing that song. She said the words to it. When you, when you had the microphone, you said the words to a song. I said, oh, I hope she sings it. You know what I'm saying? But I can't think of it now. But once I got here, I was in, we lived, my wife and I, we lived in Cincinnati for a while under Bishop Jasper Phillips. See, back then, you went where your pastor told you to go. <laughs> El, El, Bishop Moore said, you going to Bishop Jasper Phillips. He, he, didn't, he was district elder then. You didn't go where you wanted to go. Oh, the Lord, y'all know. You, you went where they told you to go. Lord Jesus. And he sent us there. Hallelujah. And then we came to Evansville. Mm, mm, mm. You talking about some good times? Boy, I, 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 I remember the good times. Choir, just as strong. Hallelujah, just as strong. 30, 40 choir members, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy because I drive the van and go to speed limit. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and I, I, I never forget, Sister Douglas and Sister Floyd, they... They taught me this thing. It's, it's called, t tone it down a little bit. Because I couldn't sing and I was just as loud. No, you know, y'all don't know. I was, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Brother Shaman. You know. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. But God has brought me a long way. I thank God. And, and this thing, like Elder Floyd says, and he's got a way of doing For somebody that don't, move a whole lot it's, it's, you, you can feel it coming from when he said real I was like ooh you know what I'm saying it's real hallelujah it's real hallelujah hallelujah 41 years of marriage hallelujah saved for 37 years hallelujah never thought bishop I never thought I would be in the mountains of Haiti. Hallelujah. Preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Contrary to what anybody says, we preach holiness at Bethesda ministry. We baptize in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We speak in tongues. Hallelujah. And guess what? We'll do a little shouting if you give me one minute worth of music. All I need is one because I, I can't do a whole lot, Pastor. Do you hear what I'm saying? Y'all know that old school. When I think of his goodness and what he, help me out. You ready? Come on. When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, when I think of his goodness and how he brought me out, I could dance, 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 dance all night. Can y'all say that with me? Come on. When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, when I think of his goodness and how he brought me up, I could dance, 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 all night, 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 all night. All night, 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 Hey! When I think of his goodness and what he's done for me, when I think of his goodness and how he set me free, when I think of his goodness and how he brought me up, I could dance, 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 all night, 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 all night. All night, all night, all night, all night. Hey! All right now.
All right, Bishop Cook. Yeah. Ain't no part, ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. Cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Don't stop. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. Cause a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Bishop Antoine. Thank you. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party. Because a Holy Ghost party don't stop. Yes. When I think of his goodness, what he's done for me. When I think of his goodness and how he set me free. I can dance, 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 dance. Right now. All right. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. We got to move on. We got to move on. Just, just simmer it down just a little bit. Just, just let it simmer for a little bit. Yeah, simmer it down just a little bit. Sim uh oh, uh oh. What, what, what? Come on now. I said simmer down just a little bit. Simmer down just a little bit. If you can. If you can. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Joy, joy, joy. Real joy. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Just pat your feet. Just pat your feet. Just pat your feet. Hallelujah. You can sit down if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, glory, glory. They popping like popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all right. It's all right to praise him. It's all right to praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, yes. Okay, we got to move on. I, I know you don't want to stop, but we got to move on. Yes, we got to move on. Just simmer down, just slightly. Simmer down just a little bit. At this time. We're going to have Elder, Elder Bishop Antoine come at this moment, at this time. Yeah. Let us receive him as he comes. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. I know you can feel the fire burning tonight. Oh, hallelujah. I can feel the fire burning. Come on, can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Eat up on Sunday. Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, yes. Oh, Timo Shah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 
old song says, I can feel the fire burning way down in my soul. Don't let me disrupt what you're doing tonight. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Let's let the Lord have his way. kind of feel like they do in Congress sometimes. They say, Mr. Speaker, I just want to yield my time over to the floor. The way I feel like it, I just want to yield my time over to the Holy Ghost tonight. Yeah. Certainly want to do give honor and praise to God for being here and being in this anointed service tonight. Thank you, Jesus. It means so much to be saved tonight. Sanctified and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And as they would say, and that with a mighty burning fire. Appreciate God for this grand occasion tonight in this 50th anniversary. God has been so good. And He's been faithful. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. A few years ago when the Lord blessed me to open up a church, my pastor told me, he said, now son, don't worry because God is going to take care of his church. And one thing I have seen God do is take care of his church. Sometimes we scratch our head about this and try to figure that out and try to figure that out. But one thing about it, God always knows what he wants to do. And we thank and praise God for the great man and woman of God that have stood before this congregation these many years. Amen. Let's give God a praise. I think we could give him a standing ovation. Amen. We want to say, Bishop Frazier and Lady Frazier, we honor the Lord for you. Thank you for what you're doing here in this city. And then thank you for traveling up the road a few times and visiting us in Vincennes. And on behalf of the members of New Life Holy Cathedral, we just come to give God some praise. It's a few of us speckled around. Some of us have already started shouting, so you know we're here to praise the Lord. God bless Bethany Apostolic Church. Thank you for inviting us. We're glad to be here in Jesus' name. God bless you in the name of the Lord. If you guys would allow me, I would like to recognize some of our visitors that are in our midst tonight. And so we want to say God bless you and thank you for being a part of our 50th church celebration. This is Friday night kickoff. As you can see, we up, we popping like popcorn. We got Saturday night and Sunday morning to go to, so, so bear with us. At this time, I'd like to welcome Janai and Pat. This is not to embarrass you, but just to put a face with the name. Deanna Tweedy, if you would, please stand. Happy to have you. Marlene Crenshaw. Amen. Amen. And Mother Velma Brown, the mother of Sister Marlo Brooks. <laughs> we love to see the mothers in the house. Amen. Bethany Apostolic Church, let's give them a standard, a round of applause. Amen. 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 At this time, we're gonna, it calls for a musical selection. And that musical selection will be coming from our own sister, Sarah Clark. Let us greet this songbird as she comes. Amen. AKA my sister. <laughs> Biological sister. <laughs> the Clark sisters. <laughs> I 
And when I think of the goodness of Jesus, I know he has done for, for me.
Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You made a way. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I can't sing like my sister, but I know how to hum. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to move on to another part of our service. We're going to have our own Honorable Bishop G.W. Frazier come at this time and render this part of our service. Can we receive Bishop G.W. Frazier Sr. with a stand? Let us give Bishop Frazier a round of applause as he comes. Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah? You may be seated. You may be seated. We magnify this wonderful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And in our tears and in our sorrow and our pain and our frustration, he still somehow or another remains the same. The astute Apostle Paul in his journal as he writes to the Hebraic Christian says emphatically inspired by God and says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if anybody could make that statement it was the Apostle Paul in the struggles and difficulties that he had gone through. But more importantly, it is for us in 2022 to know specifically, individually and corporately, that this holds true. When we confront the challenges of life and they will come. Job made a statement and said, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. And somehow or another, in the midst of our trouble, midst of our sorrow, he is still God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The psalmist could not put it any other way. It embarked upon his heart so much that he put it in song. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And expressed his sincere gratitude toward the Lord. Isn't it something that someone can be in pain and agony and going through something and God just drops a song in their heart and they express it? This is why we get excited in church because we're singing to the Lord. I often say in Bethany that if we don't enjoy clapping our hands and singing our songs, then heaven is the wrong residence for us. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. He says his mercy, and I suppose we'll never know how great and how efficient his mercy is until we stand before him at that day endureth, look what the writer said, endureth forever. How long is forever? As long as God lives. Forever. But God can never die, he can never fail, and he can never lie. Forever. My God, my God. And this is why we celebrate him. Tonight I can see many leave from that place of praise into worship. Making that individual contact from spirit to spirit. 
that gives us strength and grace somehow empowered by God that we can make the test in the trial. Many of us are uncertain as to what we had to leave when we came here. But we have come here for a reason that we might magnify God and God might encourage us. Tonight, my brothers and sisters, I thank you for coming and certainly give honor to Bishop Cook, to Bishop Howard, and certainly to our ministers that have been with us for quite some time. And we thank God over and over and over again. Can we say hallelujah again? Hallelujah. And certainly to our mistress of ceremony this evening. I, I want to say this. Uh, I talked to Brother Clark when he came in. And so often you hear the old statement, oh, that's old school. Brother Clark, could you come up with me? Could you come up here with me, sir? Somebody said he just turned 78. He looked pretty good. <laughs> Brother Clark, I'm going to back you up. <laughs> Brother Matthew, come on up here. Now, he's not 78 yet. <laughs> Amen. He said he's in his 70s. You see, sometimes we, we sing gospel songs. It puts us in another place in time. And certain songs that just touch the heart. And, and we have the audacity to say, that's my song. Mm -hmm. I got a whole lot of them. I can't sing none of them all the way through. <laughs> but tonight, would you just allow us for a few moments? Tell somebody old school. Journey, 
I want Jesus to walk with me. Know my name, Lord. Know my name. Know my name, Lord. Know my name. Say praise the Lord. Now I, I told you old school. Just for a few moments, the explicit anointed prophet Jeremiah. The Bible depicts him as an unusual character. And some would say he is that weeping prophet. And certainly in his day and time of chaotic disaster in the ranks of Judah, where things have come to be so deplorable that the prophet Jeremiah has a message that is not going to cause folks to shout and dance but he has a message letting them know that the wrath of the eternal God is going to come upon Jerusalem and Judah. Israel had already fallen away to the Assyrians and Satan had Jerusalem and Judah in its target. My brothers and sisters, I want you to know this evening that even though you are shouting, you are dancing, you are praising God, the enemy has you in its target. The Bible says, according to the apostles, Peter and James, that Satan is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He that departeth from iniquity maketh himself a prey. Anytime that you decide by the summons of the eternal God to change your life, you are a target world is not going to pat you on the back. They're not going to praise you for doing what's right in stepping out of Rome and giving your allegiance to God. It's a trying time 
It's a time where minds have to be made up, hearts have to be fixed. It's a time that we have to come out of the closet, if you will. It's a time that we must very rapidly, very quickly mature in God, knowing that we are a part of that family that is called by his name. Israel had forgotten that and they had lost what God had given to them. Their historical background meant nothing to them. Judah had come to a place too that they had forgotten about their God, the principles that God had incorporated in them. They had forgotten the purpose. They had forgotten where God had brought them from. It's a terrible thing in our day and time to forget God. It's not our cognitive abilities. It's not our wit. It's not our intellect. It is God that is keeping us alive. Amen. Judah was in the hairs of Satan. Jeremiah was a preacher of his time. He was exclusively stamped, delivered and sent by God. At this time, there were a number of false prophets telling Judah that destruction is not going to come and Babylon is not going to come and take them away. It's a terrible thing to hear the word of God and it does not penetrate the facade of our heart, does not cause us to stand still and evaluate where we are. Amen. Amen. Judah was an example of that. That a king, a king was the head that God had put in that place. He was the consciousness he was the fervor of Jerusalem Judah the king would hear the words of Jeremiah the king was so afraid of the people and so many preachers today they know that destruction is coming they must hold their position as the watchman that is on the wall they must not negate what God has purposely put in their heart. They cannot preach what they want to preach. And sometimes you don't want to hear what God has said. These times that we need preachers to stand and speak the truth because destruction is going to come. We must not be blinded by the challenges and circumstances of life. We must understand that even our day and time that the Lord has said, these are the beginning of sorrow. There's a war going on in our world today in Russia, the madman. He is threatening nuclear holocaust. And the church, just as Judah, is not responding. Destruction is all around, but yet we do not see it. There was a time in the United States that any time something would happen of such magnitude, there would be national prayer. Some of you are old enough here tonight that you remember prayer in school. There was a time that America truly held to what's on their dollar bill in God. We trust. But nowadays we cannot see the handwriting on the wall. Jeremiah continued to say what God said. He continued to be the voice of God, the ears of God, the hands of God, the eyes of God. In a time where many folks did no longer want to hear. Is that time upon us today? 
Hmm? No one hardly wants to hear about Jesus. The Christian has to be silent in the schoolrooms, the workplace, in our neighborhoods. Used to be a time that they esteemed the pastor and preachers. But now statistics says that they're ranking with the used car salesmen. Churches, no longer is that house of transformation. But Jeremiah let them know something. That God is going to bring Judah at a certain place. After the challenges are over, after the circumstance of Babylon, he's going to reestablish his people. Sometimes we have to go through trouble to let us recognize the power and the authority of God. Sometimes we have to go through that shame and pain for God to get our attention. This was the thing that happened to Judah in this narrative. Let me say this to you, my brothers and sisters. The king was to go and stand in the face of Nebuchadnezzar. And all because he simply would not say what God said. Jeremiah said, you're going to stand before the king. You're going to see him eye to eye. And the king is going to kill your sons in your presence. And they put his eyes out. Isn't it a strange thing that when the devil overcomes that he blinds us? We can't see. But there was hope. One thing about God. Oh, hallelujah. And our intimacy with God, there's hope. There's hope. There's hope. He declared that he once again will bring hope to Judah. He reminded of, I perhaps may step in out a little bit, but reminded of Isaiah around, uh, I'm sorry, Ezekiel around chapter 37. And he mentioned dry bones. Oh, I'm not going to talk about dry bones tonight. <laughs> but the significance about dry bones was a mere fact as God spoke to Jeremiah in terms of wrath but also recovery. You see, it's a terrible thing for your parents to spank you. I'm sorry, to whoop you. <laughs> and not give you hope. This is what God did to Judah and also declared to Ezekiel. Can these bones live? I want you to know that God can bring life into your dead situation. Amen. Yeah. 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 Jeremiah not only speaks of disaster and also in lamentations, but he also gives hope. Am I talking about it now? One of the key things that we have to understand with this particular narrative that he was speaking to them in terms of turning and changing their heart. And what we have to do sometimes is just, just throw it up and say, Lord, I surrender. That's all that God wanted them to do. Is just surrender. Isn't that something? It didn't take us to cross the widest river, to climb the highest mountain, but just surrender. Just surrender. Tonight, my brothers and sisters, as we look back 
in this blast from the past, all of us have got past good and bad and indifferent. But you don't have to stay there. You can do what God has spoke to Jeremiah. Tell Judah to turn. Tell Judah not to continue as they are. But just what? Just surrender. 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 I beg you tonight, if you know not the Lord in the consciousness of your sin, I want to say very emphatically that we are just transients just passing through this life. Unless the eternal God gets our attention, we're heading fast to disaster. And too many of us live like we're going to live here forever. Jeremiah would not be a popular preacher today. We read about his account and we get happy. You wouldn't like Jeremiah. Oh, why don't he go somewhere else? Why, uh, preach something else. But he was the methodology at that time. He was the strategy that God chose to use. To save and not hurt and not condemn. If God is not allowed to whisper in your ear and touch your heart, we will never move from where we are. He pleaded with the people that were running out of time. He cried, destruction is coming, wrath is coming, turn, turn, turn. And for some reason, they would not do it. I wonder today in our society, what does God have to do to get our attention? What word does he have to use by the agents of preachers to reach the lost hearts and souls of lost humanity. Don't you know that we are running out of time? Don't you know that Satan is alive and well on planet Earth? He's the outlaw in God's universe. He knows his time is short. He's making the attempt with all of his might, all of his power to deceive. As John said, there was exiled on the Isle of Patmos. He has deceived the whole world. I beg you to this afternoon, this night, if you know not Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, our salvation, I beg you, I implore you to accept him as you see you. <clears throat> Pastor Frazier, I've already shaken the preacher's hand and gave them my name, and my name's on church road. That's fine. But you need an intimate, real relationship with God. Amen. Am I talking loud enough? Amen. All these goods on this life does not mean anything when you face death. I had the opportunity, I'm quitting now, I had the opportunity this year to visit a man at uh, Gateway. I didn't know him. I had walked by his room going to see someone else in intensive care and someone hollered at me and I stopped, went in the room, began to pray, talk. About a week later, he was in hospice. He asked me, he said, tell me about Christ. <clears throat> he 
it was not impromptu, it was not happenstance, but God had connected us together. But somehow or another, it was, it was just too late. One of the terrible things to ever hear is too late. If you know not God, I, 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 I'm begging you, I implore you, turn to him before it's too late. If you drifted away, come back to him. If you lost your joy, if you lost your peace, if you're still wandering through life, come back to him. Remember the preacher tonight, Jeremiah, and his narrative. He allowed God to use him. And I hope today that God is still using preachers today. Preachers, rough, a rough job. But God would have somebody to tell you that somehow if it's the blessings of God that he'll reach us. Tonight can be a beginning for somebody or it can be an end. Let us bow our heads. Gracious and eternal God, our Father, our strength, our way maker, our burden bearer, the one that keeps us together when the world is falling apart, when society, the moral pendulum has broken. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch us, go beyond the facade. Go beyond the veil. Reach us, O oh God, where we are. Help us, Lord, to prioritize you. Somehow, oh God, let your word touch the very being of our nature. Oh God, we need you. Help us, Lord, open our eyes, open our ears, give us understanding that we are limited creatures. You have stamped an expiration date upon all of us. Help us, O oh God, to come to a place as the Apostle Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. And more importantly, I have kept the faith. Pray, O oh God, in this prayer that it's not just words that falls upon deaf ears. But Lord, as we go to our several homes after the benediction, that you whisper in our ear in the night hour, that you trouble our soul, that you leave us not alone, that we turn our attention and make you a priority. In that magnanimous name of Jesus Christ that never fails, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Back in the hands of Dr. Morgan. At this time, we're going to call Bishop Cook to come and render us our invitation to discipleship. And after that, you'll hear from me, and I'll do an announcement. Amen. Just tell them to come. <laughs> this is this is not just a celebration of longevity. Yes, as sir. The church. Yes, sir. This is a celebration of life. Yes, sir. Amen. 
you, you hear what I'm saying? Uh, Bishop, how old were you when you first got in church? Church one time. That's, that's what I'm okay. saying. Oh, okay. At the beginning. At the beginning. I was about what? Honey, how old was I? Around 14, 15? Yeah. So I've been saved about 60 years. See, so uh, 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 I want to catch y'all before y'all leave. I want to catch y'all before y'all leave. See, you can't wait till you get his age and then say, excuse me, Bishop. That's not how it works. You can't wait till you get his age and then turn around and say, well, now I'm going to give my life to the Lord. Do you hear what I'm saying? See, see, when you look up here, you should be looking at that 16-year-old brother or that 14-year-old brother that gave himself to the Lord. That's when he done it. See, Bishop, I'm sorry. I got a young church. I got, I got, I got my pastor. He's a great teacher. Eloquent speaker. I didn't, I didn't get all that. But see, I go to YCC. I go to Vandenberg County. I, I go to Wabash Valley Maxwell Security Prison, and I tell it like it is. Do you hear what I'm saying? Tomorrow I ain't promised to none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you, the Holy Ghost is not an excuse to sin. Oh, Lord Jesus. See, see, he, he, he's, he's right. People don't want to hear that kind of preaching. Yeah, what's, what's the point of getting the Holy Ghost if you're going to keep sinning? Shall we continue in sin? God forbid. So if you're still sinning, you need to start listening to what's being said to you because you ain't going to hear it every place else. This man just gave you the truth. Oh, yeah. He just gave you the truth. In the last days, there's going to be many false prophets. You know, Lord Jesus. This is about your soul. You know if you ain't living right, you should be running up to this altar. You know what I'm saying? Acting like. What, what you going to do if God calls you home today? Do you hear what I'm saying? You see, I don't know who told you tomorrow promised to you, but it ain't. This is my call to discipleship. Do you hear what I'm saying? See, yeah, yeah, there's, there are churches you can go to, they ain't going to preach against fornication. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's churches you can go to, they ain't going to preach against drugs. You can still smoke your blunt. You can still have your drink. But the word of God says drunkenness is a sin. Y'all do want the word of God, right? Listen, his word is the same yesterday and forever. It's time to give your life to the Lord. If he could do it at 14, see, what you're seeing is the finished product. And you heard what he said. He only gave it one time. Hallelujah. I know you you looking at, you know, look, look, you got to understand I came up under strong leadership. Do you hear what I'm saying? As Deacon Williams would say, strong teaching makes for strong saints. Weak teaching, make, they got excuses all the time. Hallelujah. The word of God has not changed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, y'all, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to just go on ahead and, and, and tell you, it's time. It's time. If you know you need God, do you know what I'm saying? If you know you need time, it's time for you to come up here. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what this is all about. Do you hear what I'm saying? You know, look, and I don't care what religion you say you are, because he went from the Old Testament. You know, some folks nowadays, they say, you know, even the Israelites turned against God. So if you want to live a saved, sanctified life, where you go home at night to your wife, when you go home and see your children, 
when you go home and you don't have a bad conscience because you've been doing wrong all your, the, the whole day? Come on. Amen. You got a, a woman of God, his wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how old was y'all when y'all got married? Okay. 20. She said 20. 54 years. Look, I, I, I didn't grow up in church. This product is legit. Do you hear what I'm saying? The evidence is right here. Do you, hear, do you want that? You know what I'm saying? Just one more minute. Do you want it? Do you want to be a good man that raises his family? Do, do you want to be a good wife that stays with her husband? Do you want this? Or do you want your kids to come up the same way? I mean, come on. So, why not give your life to Christ? I wish I could sing that song. You know, there's a lot of songs I wish I could sing. But come on up. It ain't going to hurt for somebody to pray for you, is it? You ain't scared of prayer, right? Trust the Lord. He, he set this up just for you. He set it up just for you. This, you, you. You think it's about the 50th anniversary. No, this is just for you. And you know, you know you feel it now. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. You don't, you don't want to be one of those saints that just act like you saved, right? Huh? You want to be showing up saved, right? Showing up saved. Showing up, showing up You know, not that group that's going to stand in front of the Lord. And say, didn't I do this in your name? And didn't I do that in your name? And he's going to turn around and say, depart from me. Because you know good and well you didn't have no relationship with me. Come on. Come on. Now, let's, 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 let's go on ahead. You got, you got clean hands up here that can pray for you. You know everybody can't pray for you. It says the fervent prayers of the righteous. These are righteous people. Come on up. Come on, is it okay, Bishop, they come up for prayer? Come on up for prayer. Come on, we want to see y'all live a good life. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Is there anybody? Anybody? Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's right, that's right. Represent, listen. Hallelujah. Don't look at them, come on. Follow them. Come on. This ain't no game. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone else? You ain't too young. You ain't too young. Come on. You ain't too young. Lord Jesus. Y'all know people leaving here at young ages. Come on, come on. That's right. Come on, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. It says call the discipleship. There's only one church. We, we ain't trying to Take you away from, you know, whatever church you go to, that's fine. But you got to understand, he's only coming back for one church. And guess, guess what kind of church he's coming back for? Some of y'all know the word. A church of what? No, no, no spot. No wrinkle. Excuses over with then. Hallelujah. Come on, let's, let's. Holiness is not a denomination. It's a way of life. Hallelujah. Without holiness, no man or woman. I'm just telling you the word. Come on. 
Is there something that needs you, you need to get straight now? You don't, you, you, you tired of the burden and you get the freedom right now. You don't, you don't have to worry about nobody else. You just want to get it straight. Come on, come on. You don't have to live a lie. You hear what I'm saying? Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Can y'all help me? Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down. Guess what? Friends don't treat me like they used to since I laid my burdens down. Friends don't treat me like they used to since I laid my burdens down. You know what? I'm going home to be with Jesus since I laid my burdens down. I'm going home to burden down oh glory glory hallelujah since I laid my burden down glory glory hallelujah yeah since I laid my burden down Hallelujah. At this time, I don't, before I uh, do the announcements, I would like to say it's good to see you, Deacon Tyler out there. God bless you. It's good to see you. And this person is not a stranger to Bethany Apostolic Church, and it's Minister Artis. It's good to see you out here. And we thank you from Life Center Cathedral. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you for making, the part, making this part of your night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless you. At this time, I would like to make some announcements. The first announcement is those of you that volunteer to help assist the decorating committee for the 50th anniversary, we meet at the venue tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. promptly. If you were one that volunteers, so we'll, we'll need your help tomorrow. Amen? And the next announcement, if you had a bulletin, the bulletins, we have enough, but I'm asking you that if you got one tonight, to please keep that bulletin because it has Friday night service, Saturday night service, Sunday morning service. You'll need that tomorrow. We won't be giving out any more because we'll be saving them for, the, for those that, guests that are coming uh, Saturday and Sunday. Amen? I don't mean to sound mean, but amen again. Amen. And we have one more announcement. Let us remember Saturday night service will start promptly at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen? Amen? We ain't had church unless God has visited us. How many were blessed tonight? Amen. How many were blessed tonight? Amen. And Bethany Apostolic Church, you're, you're expected to be here. Bring your family members. Bring a guest tomorrow. This is all about salvation and the saving of souls. And Sister Frazier, First Lady Frazier, you had an announcement. God bless you, Sister Johnson.
Did you guys hear that? First Lady Freddie said, if you're not going to keep the song, the announce the songs, go ahead and turn them into the back. The ushers will put them away and we'll utilize them tomorrow. Amen? It costs to print. <laughs> Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm going to render this, the, the final portion of the service to our pastor, Bishop D.W. Frazier. He will come to you with the final remarks. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. I, too, stand in tandem, as what the Masters of Ceremony has said. Uh, Sister Sarah, would you come up? Would you come up, please? We're going we to sing us out tonight. Amen. And you know my song, don't you? I mean, I didn't write it. I didn't compose it. <laughs> Change me, oh God. Make me more like you. Let us stand. Stand. Change me, oh God. Make me more like you. Change me, oh God. Wash me. Through, through and through, create in me a clean, clean heart, so that I may worship you. Change, change me. Change me, oh God. Sing your song. Make me more like, like you. Change me, oh God. Watch me through, through and through. Create in me a clean, clean heart so that I may worship you. I need you to change me. Like only you can, Lord, change me from the inside out, Lord, change me like only you can, change me, yeah, 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 change, change, change. God bless you. 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 God bless you.